Now, if you run tracks in Ableton Live's arrangement view, you've probably experienced this before. You drag your track in, you have your tempo set perfectly, but when you go to build your new set, your track that was at 95 suddenly becomes 120. Hey, this is Will Doggett, Ableton Live certified trainer, founder of From Studio to Stage. Today, I wanna to show you how you can create a tempo track. And the tempo track is gonna allow you to save your tempo with your file so that when you drag it into a new file, your tempo is gonna follow. So let's get started. Welcome to From Studio to Stage, where every Friday we post a brand new tutorial showing you how to use Ableton Live on stage. Today's tutorial is brought to you by Oyen Digital. If you use your computer to make music, you need a high performance, rock solid hard drive. And that's what Oyen Digital does. Their Dura line of hard drives are excellent solutions for live performance. The U32 Shadow is a portable SSD with speeds up to 500 megabytes, low power usage, and a rugged enclosure, which makes it the perfect solution for a portable live performance drive. Because these drives have a USB-C connection. If you're using a brand new MacBook Pro, you can plug directly in your computer without any of those pesky adapters. To get 20% off any Dura hard drive, head to oyendigital.com and use the code Dura20. That's O-Y-E-N digital.com and use the code Dura20. Thanks to Oyen Digital for your support of From Studio to Stage. All right, so this is very, very easy to do. What I'm gonna do is open up my original file here and create what I call a tempo track. All the tempo track is is just a blank clip of audio. So the way I'm gonna do this is create a new audio track and then I'm gonna call this tempo. And then what I wanna do is route the audio from another track that has no instrument or muted instrument into this track. Super easy to do. So I'm gonna do audio from and select a uh, sidechain track and then what I wanna do is make sure that the sidechain track is muted, which it is, so I don't hear anything. I'm gonna click record, and then I just wanna record one measure. Okay, so now I have a clip that is a measure long that's gonna be used for my tempo, and I'm gonna rename this tempo. Now I can go ahead and kill all the audio routing that I had before, so set that to no input. Then what I'm gonna do is cut that clip just using Command X, and I'm gonna paste it into Arrangement View. So I'm gonna turn off Back to Arrangement, go to the beginning here, and paste that into Arrangement View. Now with Loop enabled, I'm gonna click and drag, and drag this clip all the way to the end of the range. And press minus as you drag so that you zoom out quickly. And what I wanna make sure I do is I get the entire song, so all the way to the outro of that. And then what I wanna do is click into the, the uh, tempo clip that I created, and you wanna go down to the area here that says segment BPM. Now right now you see that it says 95 BPM, which is perfect. Uh, we want it to represent whatever BPM our song is, and in this case it's 95, which is great. But the other thing I wanna do is I wanna change this clip from slave which means it's slaved to live's master tempo. Uh, and I wanna click it to change it to master, which means live is now gonna follow that clip's uh, tempo information. And it's the tempo information I've entered here in the segment BPM. So now if I press play, you'll see that the tempo is now grayed out uh, and the tempo is saved with this track. So let's hit Command S to save our file. And I'm gonna open a new live set and I'm gonna go through the same process I did before, delete some of my tracks, and I'm gonna drag that same file into my set. Now I'll delete my extra MIDI track. With this file in there, you see now we have our tempo track loaded in, but our tempo still says 120. Two ways to change this. If we add a second song in our set, suddenly it's gonna detect the master and everything's gonna be good. Or all we can do is go to tempo, deselect master and reselect. And you'll see our stems jump to the correct length because live is seeing our tempo now is 95. And again, we can jump down here to the master track. If I go and show you, the song tempo, you're gonna see how the tempo changed from 95 to 120 here. And if I drag my tempo track out, you're gonna see the tempo continues to move and follow that trick. Now, if you wanna learn more about how to run tracks in Ableton Live, make sure to head to fromstudiostage.com where you can sign up for a free seven day trial. Now, you're gonna get access to every single course that we have in the catalog. You're gonna get access to the private Facebook community where you can chat and learn from other people that are trying to learn to use Ableton Live on stage. And finally, you get access to our private call every month where we join on together just for subscribers to talk about Ableton Live, I'll answer your questions and show you what I'm currently working on. I think you'll really enjoy it. But thank you so much for watching this tutorial. Hope to see you next time. Take care. Bye.